for the signs. It's Nicola. So let's see. This is for March 15th, 2019. Like I told everybody else, don't mind my hair. It's time for it to come down. My dreads are poking out through these dreads. <laughs> oh, well. I don't care. Let's see what we got. This is for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 15th, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, shit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance, what messages do we have? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 15th, 2019. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 15th, 2019. All right. Ace of Swords here. Truth. Clarity. Seeing clearly. New inspirations. What's under here? Whew. Hey, man. So, some, this was the, the center or the outcome for the earth signs. So, someone is in suspension. You could gain clarity from that. If you're dealing with an earth sign, you could be gaining clarity from that. Um, nine of swords here. Having a, ooh, cancer, front and center, chariot. So, there is some anxiety about a relationship, anxiety about balance. Um, just as anxiety about doing what's right, balancing a situation here. So let me get this straight. The truth is, the truth going to come out because the ten swords here. I told y'all yesterday, y'all need to embrace some changes. It's it. Some of y'all are in suspension about the situation. Um, there needs to be an even give and take. There needs to be balance. This is karmic. You've learned your lesson, though. So why are you still in suspension? You've already learned this lesson. You already know. You already know. You're reliving. You're voluntarily reliving karma. Just so you know that. You're, you're voluntarily reliving karma. It's causing anxiety. Listen, and the reason why I said I know, what's in the middle of this nine of swords? That all-seeing eye, you know. The all-seeing eye is you know. It's, it's as though you're trying to protect yourself from the end. You're living in a fantasy, baby. I don't have to see it on my, on my thing to, to speak it. I don't have to see the moon to see an illusion. You're living in a fantasy here. And I'm saying that because 10 swords across my layout means something has ended. Hangman, you're in suspension. Having clarity, the hangman has clarity. See, he has clarity. He has knowledge. There's nine of swords here. You have knowledge. You know. Ace of swords. This is clarity. You know. You already know that you need to move forward. But some of you guys are still in suspension. Some of you are finding balance within the situation, doing what's right. This is karmic retribution. You're getting, you're getting balance because you're seeing something from a new perspective, a new really, I believe for some of you guys, this could be a new relationship. Could be dealing with a, a hermit here, a Virgo here. Five, five, two, five, nine of swords. So you're disappointed here. That's not a damn five. That's a three. Okay. But it's the three of swords. So it's, it's, it's not, better at all um you need to go within yourself so you can be in alignment with what it is that you want the reason why you're heartbroken right now or you're disappointed because you're not in alignment with what you want you need to embrace changes what's on the same man eight of cups you're not gonna tell me no different you've went through the emotional growth within the situation this is a voluntary stand you're a volunteer you're volunteering your heart to be broken period you're volunteering your heart to be broken you're going within yourself because you're disappointed by some type of betrayal or you feel as though it's a betrayal. But the truth has already been delivered within the situation. You're four swords here separated. You need to be in alignment with what you desire. The reason why you're heartbroken is because you're not in alignment with what you desire. You want a balanced relationship. And maybe you are seeing a situation as balanced because of past history or even family history, what you grew up with, what you grew up with or whatever. But no, you need to speak your truth without tact. You need to see the truth in this situation. Nine swords. The anxiety is about balance, but a balanced, loving relationship is you moving forward and loving yourself. I said self-love once before, and that's still very evident here. You need to love yourself enough to bring the balance here. It should be an even give and take, and there will be an even give and take. But Libra here, Justice here, there is some things that need to be weighed out. Ooh, wait a minute. 
Yep. And uh, I'm all into symbology. My love cards just fell, and all the love and all the cards came out. So, hmm. Emperor here, y'all. <laughs> Emperor here, um, Page of Cups. So someone is setting boundaries. Someone, you may have an anxiety here, um, either about some secret, something is hidden. You have anxiety about moving forward. Chariot here twice, four of, of wands under there. A cycle is complete. It's time to move forward. You need to be making plans moving forward. Why is the chariot here? Queen of wands here moving in a new direction. Scorpio energy here transforming here. Four of wands, completion here. Nine of so, nine of wands. So someone is finding the strength. May have procrastinated before, or there could be someone hidden here. But finding the strength to complete a cycle. This is completion here. So there is a cycle that has been complete. Um, someone has some fear about transformation. Maybe fear in the end. Like I said before, someone's fear in the end. You could be moving in. It could be time for you to move in a new direction. But there's a fear of the end. Or some of you guys could be moving away from a Capricorn or a Scorpio, and there's maybe some fear, or this could just be a toxic relationship, but uh, you're moving forward here. Two of Cups here. There's a relationship in your surrounding energy. Yes, budding. Um, you may be resisting that. Someone else may be resisting that. Someone could be resisting you. Six of Swords moving forward. Ace of Cups, Empress, Knight of Pentacles, I mean Page of Pentacles. Wow. So in your surrounding energy, Taurus, Libra energy. You could be dealing with the Taurus. I mean, you could be dealing with the Libra because I got Libra here. If you're dealing with the Libra, you have anxiety about speaking truths. I think if you're dealing with the Libra, this is a balanced situation. Justice, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Um, especially if they're offering a relationship here because the Two of Cups here is Ace of Cups, a new offer here, Empress, to bring something into fruition. Um, understanding your worth and resisting or standing your ground. So either someone that you're dealing with is resisting imbalances, doing what's right, um, understanding their worth, bringing what they want into fruition, or ace of sword, because this is clarity. I don't know if you're hearing this, someone's telling you this, or this is you seeing that this relationship in your surrounding energy will... I don't think so because there's a resistance to the two of cups. So someone's resisting a relationship. You could be resisting a relationship because you feel as though it's not balanced. Or someone could be resisting a relationship with you because they feel it's not balanced. Why is this why is Libra here? You know that that you know that you're procrastinating moving forward. You know that a situation is burdened, a relationship is burdened, or you're burdened by a relationship. Could be burdened by, I don't know if it's a hidden relationship. You could be worried about a hidden relationship. Justice card, trying to weigh your options here, trying to evaluate a situation, especially if you're hidden. You could be burdened by that. Ten of Wands, someone needs to release the burden. So Seven of Cups under here, Four of Wands, someone's within themselves and confused. So someone could be within themselves and confused, and you're worried about if the, the relationship is balanced. You're worried about maybe um, someone not talking. You could be oppressing your... You could be doing what's right for you and not speaking to someone moving forward. Cancerian energy again. Um, why is the Six of Pentacles here? So someone's making adjustments. Queen of Swords here making decisions. Someone's making decisions, making adjustments. Eight of, of Swords getting out of interference. Page of Cups here. Um, someone's gaining their independence. Could be going toward a new person. Really balancing out their life, balancing out their foundation. Moving toward... Moving away from interference. We're going to say moving away from interference. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But somebody's moving away from interference. Going through an emotional growth. Getting out of a cycle. This is the end of a karmic cycle already. It's not the end. This has already ended. I think you just see that it's done now. Um, maybe you didn't want to see that before. I don't know. So let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have from the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What guidance do we have? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we have. Okay. 
some of y'all need to let I think yesterday I said that y'all, 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 y'all. Some of y'all are vigilant about moving into harmony. You need to lift the veil and see what harmony is for you. I think some of you guys are, um, have a flawed vision of what harmony is. I believe you need to go within yourself. Some of you guys feel as though money is harmony and that's why you're at a lack. Money isn't harmony. You guys are their masters of emotions. Maybe that's the problem. You're too emotional. And I'm not saying it to be, you know... I'm just being real. Maybe that's the problem. There's too much water. You may need to put something solid behind it. You need to make a move. Har In order to get harmony, you got to move like the river. You got to flow like the water. You got to flow like what you are. Um, some of you guys are, you're like a, 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 a drain that stopped up flooding the, the, the streets. You got too much water around you right now. You need to let it flow. So some of you guys letting it flow does mean releasing whatever has kept you trapped, whatever has caused the flow, the inner flow, the water that is you to flow. Whatever has caused that to be interfered or trapped, you need to release that so that you can move like what you are. Because Some of you guys are very much out of your element right now. You need to do what's right for you. That's all I got, y'all. Yeah. DNA, karma. Some Karma. Some of y'all dealing with a karmic relationship. You need to let it go. This is all I have, y'all. Peace.